some randomness. Silvers, greens, orange ice. I uh, do have a chance for autos, silvers, a bunch of different inserts, and the variations. I wish they say there. Four ice prisms, uh, or we could get a mem card. The swatches are actually pretty cool looking. I don't know that I'll pull a rookie swatch yet. Um, so that would be kind of cool to see. Just pulling a bunch of veteran swatches. I'm going to get a couple thick sleeves ready, just in case. I don't think we've had more than two in one break, but... You just never know. Good luck to everybody. Go ahead and get started. see a shiny silver down there I believe we've been getting the silver almost every hanger box so I hope that keeps up JJ Berea Landry Shamit Troy Brown Jr. Lou Williams Anthony Davis Carl Anthony Towns Do we have an auto in here oh variation Killian Hayes for the Pistons nice variation there I have a silver Jackson Hayes as well. Nice looking variation. Silver Jackson Hayes, second year car for the Pelicans. Got a Gordon Hayward green. Static Bay emergent for the Pistons. Got a dominance Kevin Durant. A Steph Curry, Team USA. We got our orange ice here. Let's see what we got. Larry Nance. Oh, nice R.J. Barrett, second year card. Chris Paul for the Thunder, a little bit outdated. Pascal Siakam for the Raptors. I swear they printed this stuff before Christmas. I got Kevin Love, uh, Xavier Tillman, rookie for the Grizzlies, Peyton Pritchard for the Celtics, and Fred Van Vliet to wrap it up. Not a crazy wild box there, but this uh, R.J. Barrett second year card is pretty nice. Hitting that orange with the orange team colors. Even though he's got predominantly blue jersey on. I think one of the, the most interesting things I'm ready to see is how the second year cards do. Um, sophomore cards have always been a kind of the thing when people get priced out of the rookie cards, so I don't, I'm wondering what it'll be like with Prism this year. Where the Zions and the John Morants will sit, price-wise. If the variations weren't put backwards, it might be kind of hard to tell. Oh, they look, they look really similar to the regular rookies. Starting off with Matthew De La Dova. Malik Monk, Bojan Bogdanovic, Brooke Lopez, Dame Lillard, DeAndre Jordan, Kevin Garnett, a little throwback there, uh, Brandon Ingram, we have uh, Tyrell Terry, silver rookie for the Mavericks, nice silver there, you just never know with these guys. Give them time and they pop off and you got one of their silver rookies. Uh, Jared Allen Green for the Nets. There's a LeBron James dominance for the Lakers. We have a sophomore stars PJ Washington for the Hornets. There's our first Lamello 
An instant impact rookie for the Hornets there. For our orange ice, we have Draymond Green, OG Anubi, Cody Zeller, and Thaddeus Young. So no rookies in that one. The orange ice rookies are hard to find. We've had some boxes that have had two, but I don't know if I've seen more than two in one box. Tyler Hero, second year card. Cassius Winston, rookie. And Bryn Forbes for the Spurs. The last card lineups are pretty weird, too. Uh, sometimes we'll get four cards. Two of them will be rookies. Uh, but like that box, we got three cards with one rookie. So I'm not sure if uh, this, like an extra insert in the middle changes the layout or what. But I guess that's what it has to be. I feel like we got maybe one of them was extra, the LeBron or the Lil Melo. LeBron James. Our first silver rookie of the night. I'm pretty sure hangers are where it's at. Now, I've personally not opened a blaster, but hangers time and time again seem to be the best bang for the buck always look at it on a, a card value basis so i think hangers are like 130 right now so if they're 130 it means you're paying about six dollars and fifty cents per card and i think the blasters have come down a little bit um, but for the most part, I see them around 175. So 175. Uh, that's kind of leveled off around that same price. You're paying, I think it's 24 cards. So you might be paying like right at seven bucks a card for the blasters. So I don't know. I just like the hangers. Paul George, Eric Paschal, John Collins, Marquise Chris. Matisse Thibel, Hassan Whiteside, that's an interesting picture there. Uh, Lori Markinen, the Bulls. I have a silver Malcolm Brogdon for the Pacers. Uh, green Jackson Hayes for the Pelicans. A couple nice Jackson Hayes tonight, if you're a fan. Uh, Cole Anthony, instant impact rookie for the Magic. We got a Cole Anthony emergent for the Magic. Dominance Kyrie Irving. Maybe we can hit us a, an Orange Ice rookie here. Uh, Reggie Bullock. Derek White. Nice Russell Westbrook. And Terrence Ross. We've got Luke Kennard. DeMar DeRozan. Uh, we do have a James Wiseman rookie. My least favorite picture probably in the set. I don't know why I dislike it so much, but I'll round out with Darius Garland. I like a little Darius Garland. I don't know why, but I'm just not a not a monster fan of this James Wiseman photo. Uh, let's see if I can compare it to something like it's just. I feel like he's just the bottom half of the card, and then there's just his hands up above. I don't know. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm not an artist, though, so it is what it is. Yeah, hopefully we can find the variation. I don't think I've seen it yet, so hopefully we can find that. All right, nothing crazy firesome so far. Oh, that's the back. Oh, it's upside down for once. Uh, Tory Craig. Bismack Biombo, Thermonis Sabonis, Daniel House Jr., Duncan Robinson, 
Bam Adebayo, Dwayne Wade, uh, DeJounte Murray. We'd have a rookie coming up. Silver, Trey Jones for the Spurs. Nice looking silver there. Uh, Miles Bridges. Green for the Hornets. Dominance Trey Young. Oh, we got the we got the one. This is the one everybody talks about. Well, one of them. They did Zion so dirty there. I'm not even fun. I mean, he looks like a like a man beast, but like a defensive end type man beast. I just don't remember him being ever being that big. I don't know. That's funny. Yeah, my hands may be a little dirty. I, we did a little bit of work outside today. Oh, well. Well, we got us a Zion. Uh, it's an impact. RJ Hampton for the Nuggets. Now let's get us an orange ice rookie for the first time here. Tim Duncan. Thaddeus Young. Zach Levine. And Devontae Graham. Some decent players, but no rookies yet. Theo Maladon, been playing pretty well for the Thunder. James Johnson and Damari Carroll for the Rockets. Oh, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't shipping you those daggum helmet holders. That's why we're doing that local yard sale, so I don't have to ship anything. Ship out enough as it is. A little silver Trey Jones. All right, well, that was the halfway point. I don't have a ton to speak of, so hopefully we can get after it here a little bit usually when there's a gap like that it means there's something something there so hopefully hopefully they're not toying with this could just be a really uh, beefed up silver but sometimes that makes they put the variation there and it uh, beefs out the cards a little bit so hopefully we got a variation at the very least Lots of second year dudes in this stuff. Sekou Dumboya. Gary Harris. Miles Bridges. Jordan Clarkson. Steph Curry. Vince Carter. Nice card there. Yeah, we do have something here. Onyeka Okongwu. The Atlanta Hawks. Our silver is Tyus Jones for the Grizzlies. There's our variation for the Hawks. What was he? Pick number. I'm probably going to guess wrong. I thought it was like six or something. I could be way off though. Yeah, just come pick it up when you come to a Cardinals game. Tyus Jones, silver. You got Blake Griffin Green still on the Pistons. I can understand that one. That trade was really recent, so. Uh, finally got Anthony Edwards here. It's just the emergent version, but got one nonetheless. Rudy Gobert, dominance. Got sophomore stars, Cam Reddish for the Hawks. And our orange ice prisms. Frank Kaminsky, Carl Anthony Towns. Hey, our first rookie, Xavier Tillman for the Grizzlies. Man, that took a while. Took a long time. Oh, we have a Trey Young, too. That's nice. This would be Trey Young's third year card. Interesting. Uh, Tobias Harris, Onyeka Kongwu rookie. Sadik Bay, he's got similar to James Wiseman, just almost off the card there. And RJ Barrett base. So that was a um, 
Hawks box, I'd say. Got a couple on Yuccas. One of them was a variation. A nice Trey Young cracked ice. I really don't know that this card will be very valuable, but it seems like they, everybody's just stretching it out. Luca's seventh year card will have relevance for some reason, I'm sure. Maybe it'll be his first MVP in year seven, who knows. We'll say that LeBron card is a pretty pretty sweet looking with the dunk. I'm not a fan of how far the picture is away from the card, but it's cool the backstory behind that. I didn't realize that was a tribute card when I first heard about it. Or that's what everyone's calling it, I guess. All right, enough jibber jabber. Time to get down to business with these last three boxes here. Yet to pull a uh, a swatch either. Like I said I think I've only pulled two. Is the most we found in one break. So if we find one, it'd probably be about average. DeAndre Hunter, second year card there. We got D'Lo Russell, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Bembry, SGA for the Thunder, Dwight Howard on the Lakers there, Andrew Wiggins. Jalen Brown, we have a silver, it is a rookie, Cassius Winston, for the Wizards. So two silver rookies, not too bad. Oh, I got a Ja Morant green, that's nice. I like that picture of Ja. Uh, Jimmy Butler dominance, quite a few dominance inserts tonight. Patrick Williams, an emergent of him for the Bulls. Zeke Naji, rookie for the Nuggets. And for our orange ice, sorry for the slow roll into these, but they're always upside down. Jeremy Grant, Kel Bridges, Michael Porter Jr., and oh, we got a Zion, sweet. Dang it, I get so hyped up about that card. It looks just like his uh, Mosaic rookie, I believe. I think they use the same picture as what I was told. So we got the two uh, 2019 guys in that box. Got Tyrese Maxey, nice rookie for the Sixers. Devin Booker and Elijah Hughes. So a little bit better box there. We didn't dive deep into the rookies, but we got a couple of the couple of guys from the past. Sion and Ja. It is brutal that they use the same pick on some of these guys' stuff. I get with COVID, things are a little bit different, but it's odd. Uh, I don't like when the top loaders have a little fuzzy sticking at the top. A little Zion on there. Um, I don't know, uh, on the grading, as far as, like, the curvature, I don't, I don't know that the curvature means a whole lot, I would say it's got a lot to do with, um, like, surface and centering and stuff like that. I don't know, there's a, a pretty big population of... Prism PSA 10. There's a lot of a decent prisms out there, but I think the first first thing to affect is just when everybody looks at the, uh, the centering of the card. It's always a big eye catcher, so I can kind of tell you what what might happen off the bat. Surface gets a lot of people though. Um, from what I hear, like, not cleaning your cars before you send them in and just, like, 
overall surface issues like print lines, dimples, scratches, stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't think the curvature, um, I don't know if that really affects anything, especially if you keep it in a top loader for a long time. D'Anthony Melton, Dwight Powell, Arsene Sova, Marcus Smart, Marcus Morris Sr., Norman Powell, there's another John Morant, Marvin Bagley, oh, dang, I saw Kings, I thought we might have had a Albert in there, but there's another silver rookie, James Ramsey, he's a, he's a beast, he could play strong safety, dang, Thaddeus Young Green for the Bulls, uh, we got Aaron Neesmith, emergent rookie for the Celtics, Isaac Okoro, instant impact for the Cavs. Uh, another another Anthony Edwards emergent there. I thought I was having deja vu for a second. But we got another one. Oh, wow. Dang. I flip it over because, like, right there you can't really see it. But when you flip it over, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is, that is something that will affect the grade. Holy cow. That makes me wonder if I've missed some stuff on some of the cards by not adjusting the view of them. Jeez Louise. There's a like a large scratch running up through there and uh, like a, a large dent, like borderline scratch there. Good gosh. I'll, uh... I could probably... I wonder if I can... I could probably cut up this box and send one with you. Let me make a note to do that. That way, because I know you can send your cards in and uh, get them swapped out. Oh, and I steal Maldon. Cracked Eyes for the Thunder. Alfred Payton for the Knicks. Nikola Jokic. Nice one for the Nuggets there. James Johnson for the T-Wolves. This card's got some issues, too, right up the center. Jabari Parker. Uh, Jaden McDaniels, rookie, for the T-Wolves. And Jalen Smith for the Suns. I don't know if, uh, if you guys have noticed it much at all, but there's a lot of YouTubers that I watch. I just have tons of videos recommended constantly of YouTubers going to card shows and um, making card deals and different things like that. And For the longest, it was just day after day of just check out my pickups or what deals I'm doing. And Here lately, it, multiple YouTubers have just like, almost been stagnant and I don't know if they're just everyone's working on editing videos at the same time or what but I've seen some YouTubers who were constantly uploading uh, videos about buying cards that all of a sudden they're going to do breaks now and yeah, I don't see the videos of them buying and trading cards as much and there's another guy who hasn't posted much buying and it, it just looks like he's kind of not posting. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I would say I would say Sasha T is one. I, he may have an excuse because he uh, he decided he decided to go out and sp spend a good portion of bankroll on that Charizard. So I would probably hold off buying a lot after that, but. I think uh, dudes have definitely slowed down a little bit with with that, which a lot of stuff has went down in price, especially vintage stuff. Like you had that huge spike and then just kind of dipped after that. Deer and Fox, Dylan Brooks, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Jeremy Grant, Chris Dunn, Stephen Adams. Wesley Matthews, 
That's silver. Oh, this is, this is a silver error card, actually. Um, it's Eric Paschal nameplate with a Kevin Looney picture. It's actually kind of cool if you're a Warriors fan. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's one of those things that people are going to be like, oh, yeah, that's neat. But then, like, 40 years from now, it's going to be like, oh, you remember that error card from the set? There's some error cards from, like, Donner Spaceball that are worth insane amounts of money. But Eric Pascal would have to probably be something spectacular for that to happen. So, anyways, Cody Zeller, green for the Hornets. Got a Halliburton emergent rookie. Might kind of turn it a light there. Make sure those emergents aren't all doing the same thing. Kawhi Leonard dominance. We got a sophomore stars. R.J. Barrett. Got a nice one coming up, I think. If I can flip it over here. A little Cole Anthony cracked ice for the magic. Nice one there. Davis Bertans. Duncan Robinson. Oh, gosh. They told us this hard there. The Hornets have quite a few rookies. I, can, I know, what, four in here? Three or four in this set, at least, so. Vernon Carey Jr. I guess put it in your back pocket and hope that he pops off one day. I don't know. Malachi Flynn. Rookie for the Raptors. Jake Lehman. We got the error card as well. Rodney Hood. I uh, didn't factor out the border on the card, I guess. And DeMar DeRozan. So three base cards there to end it. I don't know what that's really about. Anyways, we'll get these cards sleeved and top loaded. Yeah, lots of Cole Anthony's, but I don't know. Back to what I was mentioning a second ago, I, there's going to be a lot of things that people said and quote unquote, this is not advice on YouTube about cards that we're going to look back on and be like, wow, that person was really smart. There's going to be a ton of stuff we're going to look back on and be like, oh gosh. These people did not know what they were talking about. It's like we got the train rolling through. Sorry for all the uh, sniffles, I'm sure, that were going on throughout the break. We've got quite a bit of pollen rolling through with spring just hitting, so I got some good allergies going. All right, we'll do a quick recap. Train just passed. R.J. Barrett, orange ice. Jackson Hayes, silver. Killian Hayes, uh, variation there. Lamelo Ball, instant impact. Got a dominance LeBron. Got quite a few different dominance cards of some, some decent players. Uh, Terrell Terry, silver for the Mavericks. Got a James Wiseman rookie, Malcolm Brogdon silver, sophomore stars Zion Williamson. Uh, we also got a Cam Reddish, R.J. Barrett, maybe another one as well. A uh, Trey Jones silver for the Spurs. Trey Young cracked ice for the Hawks. Xavier Tillman cracked ice rookie for the Grizzlies. Got an Anthony Edwards emergent. Uh, I'll shine out on the light a little bit so we can get a good look at it. I'm hoping it was like a one-off with that other emergent card because I didn't catch anything with the other cards we were breaking tonight. But we'll sh we shall see. Onyeka uh, Kongwa, I believe this was a variation. Yeah, got a little variation statement down there. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, rookie. There's a Zion Crack Dice. John Morant, green. A couple good cards out of that one box. Cassius Winston, silver for the Wizards. We got the Joker Crack Dice. Theo Maladon, Cracked Ice Rookie for the Thunder. I've uh, seen a lot of people talking about him. I, I'll have to go watch some of his games. I haven't seen him play, really. 
Anthony Edwards, this is the one where he had the, the big dent and that's not a print. That looks like a scratch right there, but that was a terrible card. And I've got a box set aside, so I'll, I don't know, that'd be weird to pack. I think I'll just cut up the box. That way you got the label and all the pieces of it and I'll pack it in that way. I just don't want to ship a big empty box. So I have to get a huge box to ship tiny cards in. Uh, Jameis Ramsey, silver for the Kings. Got a Vernon Carey Jr., orange ice for the Hornets. Cole Anthony, a nice one there for the Magic. Tyrese Halliburton, emergent. And the Eric Pascal, uh, Kevin Looney, error card there, silver version. Uh, we got a lot of other decent cards over to the side here. We didn't get any swatches or autos. Uh, that's actually the first break we haven't at least gotten a swatch, so kind of odd there but appreciate you guys jumping in here um actually i got a lot of prism coming to the house i haven't gotten out of all of it yet but i'll usually list auctions for like a day or three days in advance so there may be some random ones pop up here over the course of the next couple of days and we'll we'll break it throughout the weekend so uh, if you guys want to watch or hang out in the videos or if you want to pick up a team whatever you want to do just be ready because those will be be coming out um Anyways, you guys take it easy, and we will catch you later. Uh, Jesse, we got one. I think we got one Patrick, but it was an insert of some sort. Um, I don't remember if it was an emergent insert or instant impact. Um, but we did get one. Uh, just not a base rookie that I remember. We got Lori Markin and uh, Orange Cracked Dice, I believe, as well. So, anyways, you guys take it easy, and we'll see you later.